Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first four commandments, and now it's time to tackle the fifth, Thou shalt not kill. We've begun talking about whether particular actions can be considered murder, and now it's time to discuss negligence in dangerous situations. Is that murder? Once again, it's important to understand what's meant by negligence. Negligence is when you consciously refrain from some duty which you have. It means that you choose not to do something which you know you should do. This is known as a sin of omission. By itself, this doesn't imply that you know you're doing evil. However, it doesn't imply that you don't know either. When you don't know that you're doing evil, that's called an accident. And no accident is ever murder. Murder needs to be intended in order to be murder, and the whole definition of an accident is that it's not intended. Because of this, it's impossible for most types of negligent behavior to be murder. It's also worth noting that most sins of negligence, or of omission, are less grave and serious than sinning directly is. However, this entirely depends on how serious the consequences of the sin of negligence are, and how much you know about the consequences. The moment you realize that what you did was wrong, or what the consequences might be, the gravity of the sin becomes much greater. It's easy to commit a grave sin through negligence by just refusing to go to Mass on Sundays. The question is, can you commit the sin of murder in this way too? Well, according to the Catechism, yes. Thus, an act or omission, which of itself or by intention causes death in order to eliminate suffering, constitutes a murder gravely contrary to the dignity of the human person and to the respect due to the living God, his creator. The error of judgment into which one can fall in good faith does not change the nature of this murderous act, which must always be forbidden and excluded. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2277, section 2. So we know that it is possible to commit a murderous act through negligence, though doing so requires a very uncommon set of circumstances. We should be on the lookout for it nonetheless. Next time, what does it mean to rob a person of their bodily integrity? Is that murder? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.